Hello friends. Today we are repairing computer speakers. They were given to me as a gift, but they were defective. The cat chewed the wire in several places. The wire is damaged between the speakers and the wires are shorted together somewhere. If we set the sound only to the left speaker, then two speakers still work, and vice versa. If we put the sound on the right speaker, then again two speakers work. It turns out that the problem is either in the wire between the speakers or in the O connector. Let's look at the columns. How are the speakers separated? The lid is held on by hot glue. It can be heated and peeled off. We analyze the second column in the same way. All hot melt glue that holds the wires must be removed. I took a new wire from an old USB wire. I cut it off at the edges and passed it in place of the damaged wire. The new wire has four wires inside. I connected the wires and made two wires instead of four, soldering them together. Where the wires are soldered, I will put on heat shrink to insulate the wires. We do the same on the other column. Now we also compress it with heat shrink. We cut off the excess. Now we can assemble one column, which was convenient for us to work at the table. I made the hole for the wire a little larger since the new wire is a little thicker than the one that was there. Pass the wire through the hole in the column. In the place where the wire passes into the hole, I will fix it with hot glue. I will also glue the mesh along the edges since it is already peeling off. I will do this the same way using hot glue. Everything is ready with one column. Let's assemble. We applied hot melt glue and now heat four sides. We will glue the lid. Now we install the plastic plug. Done. One column has been assembled. We do the same with the other column. I will also change the O-wire. I pulled the O-wire out of the hole in the speaker. This is the wire I will install. I cut it in half. There are three wires here. We will solder them now. On the board we have wires, first white, then black and then red. I pulled out the old wire from the column, it is short, I will attach a new but longer wire. Now you need to solder three wires to the board. Well friends, everything is ready. We glue the wires in places where the wire enters. Next we will assemble the column. We install the variable resistors with the board into the plastic case and screw it in. All we have to do is glue the frame and the body together. We also install caps on variable resistors. 
We also apply hot melt glue to the corners of the lid, heat it up and shrink it. That's it, friends. The speakers are ready. The O-wire has become longer and now it is enough to connect to my computer. I also lengthened and updated the wire between the speakers. Now I'll show you what the columns are called. Now you know how to disassemble and replace the wires on the speakers.